Yo, what's up guys? I'm Samia Bakliwal here and before I start with the video, I just want to thank you guys for everything you have done. I basically crossed my first milestone which was 100 subscribers and I cannot thank you guys enough for what you have done. I'll try to keep my videos as good and short and frequent as possible. Let me know if I should change something in my channel in the comment section down below. Apart from that, let's continue to the video. So you just decide you should start your own YouTube channel and for that you are searching for a good tripod and I respect that you are on a budget here as I also was on a budget here but I would insist you to invest a bit more money than your budget because like me I just followed my budget and I got a tripod which was mainly a photography tripod so it had all the jokey motion and all and I ended up getting another tripod pretty soon so you don't want to do that and invest a bit more on your tripod and you'll be pretty happy with the result. But if you have a tripod already at home, no need to look more further, just use the one you have at home for practice and if you are pretty good at it by then, buy a new one. There are basically hundreds of combinations you can use your tripod as to stabilize or using it for creative aspects in your video. So the main ones are pans, tilts and rolls. These three are pretty common, I'm pretty sure you guys must be knowing about them by now but if you have a jockey tripod as I told earlier then you might be having problems in getting that smooth movement so I have some tips you can use for better movement. So making things go more smoother the basic trick is to make the resistor on your tripod more stiff maybe around half or more than half depending on your pressure. It will basically allow you to put more pressure and it will reduce the overshooting in your videos. And then you have the infamous rubber band trick in which you put a rubber band around the handle and then pull it by the rubber band. It will essentially help you to remove the jerks on the start and the end of the pan. And it's really cool motion but everybody will insist to use it. After my experience there is one more better way to do it and it will not leave you on the mercy of the flexibility of the rubber band. So the another trick you can use is putting two hands on the head itself. Not the handle, the head itself and then move it and pan it by using them. It will basically give you more control on the motion and it will take more practice but eventually the final result is definitely better than what you get with the rubber band. So once you have mastered all the basics like pan, zoom and tilt and all, you can move on to some tricks which will make your videos look more artistic. First one making the tripod behave as a slider, it does sound pretty confusing but it is a pretty neat trick. All you gotta do is place a sock or a cloth beneath the legs of the tripod or you can also use these IKEA table leg covers, I don't know. I'll leave links down below, I don't know how I got this but it's a pretty cool trick. You can place these on a spare tripod if you have, if you don't have. No need, the socks will do a perfect job. Once that's done, all you gotta do is slide the tripod towards or away from the product after fixing a focus and it will really give a really creative look. For the second trick, place two legs of the tripod parallel to the product and the third leg should be loosened up. All you gotta do is rock the tripod towards the product, fix a focus and then move it slowly backwards or full backwards in your speed, depends on you. It will give a really cinematic look. And I wouldn't suggest you to use all the times as the effect is pretty rare and it should be rare. Don't use it all the time as the people will get bored and stand back. If you're really going to use this trick, for I would really suggest you to move the camera towards the product first and then focus and then move backwards and then you can reverse or use the shot as that is. It will prevent you from overshooting the focus and just make a clip look more you know. Then for another trick you have the camera drop on the tripod. Yeah it does sound odd but this trick is basically reserved for tripods which have a pretty smooth head bar. Not the tripod which has lines on the head pole and rotates to come down and up. These tripods will not have a smooth pan at all so I wouldn't recommend you to use this trick. Basically you let the tripod fall down due to the weight of the camera itself just so you loosen it up that way. If your tripod isn't smooth enough just tighten it up a bit and push it down by a hand and it'll just have the same effect. 
and then for the final trick you have a trick which I tried for my product shorts and it actually succeeded what you basically do is you stop one leg of the tripod by your leg and then you slide the other two legs in a circular motion it will really have a cool effect it's like the first effect but in a circular motion and it does do a pretty good job so that's all for the tips and tricks related to a tripod on this video before i leave i just want you guys to know that every tip and trick i have given you all you got to do is practice 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 and practice cause without practice you won't be able to achieve what i can do now i've been doing this past 6 months so i have a hand on it so you guys just have to practice so thank you for watching i am some about you earlier and i'll catch you guys later